In today's show, we are going to pan sear some snapper. Then we're going to create ourselves a ginger lime butter. How about that? That sounds great, doesn't it? Hey, welcome to Gourmet Fishing. I'm your host, David Murray. We've got everything we need right here. So I tell you what, let's go ahead and get started on our pan seared snapper ginger lime butter. And guess what? We're also going to pair that dish with a little bit of coconut lime rice. So why don't we go ahead and get that started right now? Hey, let's get started on our pan seared snapper dish served and topped with a ginger lime butter. Hey, we've got everything right here. Hey, check that out. Beautiful filet of snapper right there. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of salt uh, to top that. We got some of our uh, Meyer, in, Meyer lemon infused olive oil we're going to use. Now for our butter, well, we've got four tablespoons or half a stick of room temperature butter. We've got a little bit of cayenne pepper right there, some cilantro, some lime, uh, fresh ginger, and a little bit of garlic. So I'll tell you what, simple, quick, and easy. Our first thing is to make our um, compound butter. So I'm going to move our snapper out of the way. We're going to come over here with our, our butter and our other ingredients here. I mean, I love these recipes. They're so simple. Now we're going to have a few that are going to get a little carried away in the future. So let's come in here with this. Again, got, got stuff everywhere. Let's take our butter, just like that. You stay right there. Okay. Now, let's see here. We are going to come in. What are we going to do first? You know what? I think we're going to come in here and we're going to grab some of our cilantro. Let's see here. And we're probably going to need about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half, something like that, of minced chopped uh, cilantro leaves. So we're going to come in here and just do a little bit of picking, just like this. i tell you what, we, I, that's probably going to be just enough for, let's see here, you know what? Ah, two, and, yep, that'll be good. Okay, so we're going to come in and we're going to just kind of sort of mince this up. Just like so. Nothing, nothing tough. Whoop. Just like that. Okay. Now, this is exciting to watch, isn't it? <laughs> so, we'll get through this real quick and we'll move forward. And boom, just like that, we have about, I could say a tablespoon and a half of, of chopped cilantro. I'm going to take that, boom, drop it right in there. Oh, well, I thought I got everything. So we'll just, something like that. That'll work. You know what? We're going to, you know, I'll put that right there. We are going to come back to that here in a second. Now, we're going to need some ginger. Of course we are. Peeling ginger, you know what, what's, what works well is one of these little serrated knives to get that rind right. Check that out. This just comes right off. Just like so. And we're going to need probably about a, a, ta a, tea, a tablespoon. Ha, I don't know about that. We're going to need <laughs> about a teaspoon of fresh ginger. Tell you what, we come in here with this. Clean this up just a tad. Add it away, and now we're going to come in with our microplane and just go at it, just like so. Oh yeah, get all that, all the, all those flavors, a little bit of that liquid out of there. Let's see, getting close. Which, and this is probably going to be about a half inch of of this little guy that I'm going to whittle down with the microplane. So, just like that. There you go. Now we are almost there. Just like that. So here, we've got our, our butter, we've got our cilantro, and our ginger. Now I'm going to come in with our garlic. Tell you what, got too much stuff up here. Now, check this little guy out. I just bought this the other day. It's a, it's a garlic press. Kind of neat. It came with this little thing here. 
which I had to open up the little book that it came with the instructions and find out what it was and a little knife. It's it's a garlic peeler. Watch this. This is pretty cool. I tried it the other day. Just come in here and just can you hear that? Look at that. That's cool. <laughs> clean garlic. I'd be darned. Well, almost clean. You know what? One more time. And voila. That's <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? So, okay, there we are. We got that out of the way. <laughs> so, anyway, here we go. I'm going to come in now. And it's a little bit of brown on that garlic clove. And we're going to use, I'm going to use, I, these are kind of small uh, toward the end of, end of our, our garlic. And um, put that over here. So I got two of them. But you really just want one one clove of garlic. Now I'm going to come in with this garlic press and just press it and move it around just like so. And voila, check that out. Now we've got some garlic. Ta-da, just like that. That's pretty cool. Pretty nifty little uh, gadget right there. Can't wait to be using that a little more often. Now we've got to come in with um, our uh, lime and I tell you what I'm gonna come back with our uh, zester uh, a microplane and I'm gonna use about half of the zest of this lime just like that voila oh yeah oh, you can smell that tell you what that ginger and that garlic oh man you know this thing is gonna be good <laughs> so we just come in and just gonna zest away and I'm gonna use just a little bit of the lemon juice, uh, lemon, the lime juice also in here. So let's see, are we about, I guess you could say that's about half. Nope, nope, nope. Let's see, just like that. Okay, that will be perfect. Off you go, come in with our, our knife. Give this a squeeze, just a little bit. Wow, we'll have to get that juice out. Should have used my citrus press so that's it oh almost i'm going to come in here i'm not quite sure how to quantify this but i'm going to call it just a a couple of a couple of dustings of uh cayenne pepper and then a tad of salt just a pinch just like that now we will begin to combine this butter together with all our ingredients and we're going to create a compound butter, just like that. Oh yeah, I think we are combined as well as we can combine <laughs> our butter. But man, oh, that smell is awesome. I cannot wait to try it on our snapper. So, tell you what, next step. Off you go, we're gonna grab some of that plastic wrap, like so. Saran wrap, cling wrap, I don't know, whatever you wanna call it. And we're gonna come in here just like this. And, you know what I like, thank the good Lord, they came up with these little built-in um, cutters. Cause man, sometimes, in the past you would you would rip that off and it would just whoosh, cling to itself and then you go okay now what am i going to do okay anyway <laughs> so let's get this now we're going to take our butter get it all together i'm going to put it on this side here so let's get everything out of there that we can it's like so okay uh, yeah, yep that's good that's good that's good so now what are, we, what are we going to do with this we are going to roll it into a little bit of a a tube i guess you could say so it'll make it easier for us to uh, cut it when we need to so just like so just like that and now we're gonna spin it like so let's see move it like this and there we go that's how about that quick simple easy that is our compound butter so i tell you what through the magic of hey a little bit of 
preparation, I have ourselves a nice chilled um, compound butter that we can use. I don't think we want to sit around here and just wait and wait and wait for that thing to... <laughs> Look at that. Yes. Heck yeah. To ch uh, cool down so we can use it. So we are going to... What am I going to do with this guy? I can put him right here. Now we're going to get started on our pan seared snapper. We'll bring this guy back over here. Just like so. Off you go. We're going to get this, uh, let's see, come in here, put this on about a medium high, and come back with our cutting board. Drop this guy down here like so. Put you here. And I tell you what, we're going to look for probably about a, a six ounce piece. That might be good. Okay. Yep, I think that'll work just fine. And what, you know what, let's see here. I think we'll do this. There we go. So that's what the recipe calls for, six ounce pieces. This is uh, the recipe that we've got down below in the description is, uh, is good for four servings. So now, of course, we're just gonna do one serving. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna just gonna kinda sorta lightly score my skin. Just the skin, that's all you wanna do. Just like so, kinda sorta keep it from uh, curling up on itself. So, there we go. And you go, I think I'm done with the knife. I think about the only thing else we're left to use is our spatula. We're going to come in with some kosher salt. Just like that. Oh, yes. Boom. Fresh fish. Why do you need to over, over season it? You don't at all. Now I'm going to come over and I'm going to grab just a little bit of black pepper. Just like so. That's about it. Boom. Again, simple, 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 quick and easy. Now we've got some of our Meyer lemon infused olive oil we're going to use. Come on, heat up. There we go. So come in with probably a teaspoon or so of, of that. Oh yeah, that smells good too. <laughs> now, speaking of our Meyer lemon infused olive oil, somewhere up here, I think it's flying out one way or the other. We got, a, we got a video and recipe on how we made that and we used the sous vide cooking method to create that. So, here we go. We're gonna heat this up and get ready to begin pan searing. All right, we got ourselves a hot pan right here. Yes siree, finally. So, I'm gonna come in here. Presentation side down first. Away from you, just like that. We can let that sit. That's it. This is going to be so quick, so easy. Oh, yeah. And I guess I didn't score it <laughs> quite well enough. It kind of... Whoop. So, anyway. That, one of those things that just happens. So, we're going to set... We're going to let that do its thing. I got a little paper towel here so we can kind of sort of uh, drain that before we plate it up. Now, this is going to take hardly any time at all. Probably two or three minutes per side, if that. And what you want to do is you want to kind of sort of keep an eye on, on the line, uh, the white line that moves up on the fish. And you also want to <laughs> make sure it doesn't burn. So that's kind of where we are. Um, you can, ah, yeah, you can see that thing moving. Yeah, that's looking good. We want a nice, a nice little, nice little sear on that skin for presentation purposes. It's going to look great. And obviously it's going to taste, it's taste great because it's fresh. All right. What do we have here? Oh man, that's beautiful. Okay. You ready? We're going to come over. Look at that. Oh yes. We are almost done. I mean, it's been, I mean, it really has been about two minutes. Just flip that over. We can let that thing finish itself off. Heck yeah. And you can see, see how, hopefully you can see that. Can't really show it to you too well. But the way, uh, let's see if we can do it this way. Move this this way so you can see that right there. See, see how that, it's got that little line, the white line has moved up and down. That's kind of sort of how you can judge the doneness of, of your fish. So I always try to keep an eye on that and make sure it doesn't go too fast. But I tell you what, we are, I tell you what, I think we are done. This is going to be about, about a three minute, maybe at the most four minute cooking uh, process. Wow, it looks good. 
Oh man, I tell you what, I think, yes sir, I think we're done. Three minutes, four minutes, done. We're gonna come in here. I tell you what, we're just gonna let that sit right there for a second and just kind of sort of just drain while we take a look at our butter. How about that, man? Check it out. Yum, 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 yum. So, you know what? Heck with that. We're gonna come in here and we're just gonna drop this on our plate just like that. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, okay, a little, little piece of pepper. <laughs> Check that out. Oh, it smells awesome. Now I tell you what we're gonna do. Well, first we're gonna turn that off before I hurt myself. And then, then we're gonna come in, we're gonna grab ourselves some coconut rice. Hey, up here, kind of like the Myers lemon, something's gonna fly out and it'll take you to our um, recipe and video for this um, coconut lime rice. And I tell you what we're also gonna do. Uh, the recipe is down below. If y'all can download, we're going to include, uh, obviously, <laughs> the pan seared snapper and the ginger lime butter, but we're also going to include the recipe for our Meyer infused uh, olive oil and our coconut lime rice. So, i tell you what, let's go ahead and get this on here. Like that. Oh, man. Yes. Oh, and, that, and you talk about something that smells good. Is this thing? Oh, right there. Man, that really... <laughs> Hate to toot my horn on that one, but that thing it tastes and smells great. Now I'm going to come in here. I tell you what, where is our knife? And come in and we're going to just cut just like that. Oh yeah, check that out. Oh wow. Y'all see that? Look at all, all the cilantro is throughout. You can see a little bit of the, um, of the ginger that's in there. So we just come in here. We're going to top that here. I tell you what, we'll just come in here with a couple little pieces just like so, you know what? We might just come in here with a small piece and put that on our rice. Speaking of that, come in here, drop a little lime decoration like so. Off you go. Now we've got a couple of pieces of lime here, just like that. What the heck? I don't know. We'll just kind of sort of place these the way we need like so. I don't know. That'll work. Okay back here man check that out that looks pretty good doesn't it heck yeah and simple quick and easy the you know the, the, the biggest thing was preparing the rice that took about 15 um 18 minutes but man wow how about that check that thing out right there what can you say quick simple easy pan you know what let's move that over this way there it is pan pan seared snapper we've got it topped with our ginger lime butter we've got that served up with our uh, lime and coconut rice. Wow, what more can you say? I tell you what. Hey, down there we got another great fish recipe for y'all right here. Don't forget to click that. That is our subscribe button and I tell you, y'all please give this a shot. Let me know how it turns out and until next time, God bless and we'll see you soon.